Hey guys, welcome back to HammerJoys.net. I've got today a little gift from uh, MobileFun.co.uk to try out. A Bluetooth robot sound box. Um, all the usual sort of Bluetooth bits there, sort of 10 meters working distance. Four and a half hours talk time, it's pretty good life. Let's go on inside, let's see what's on the back. Again, I think two uh, different on the back. We can just get into the thing. There we go. User manual? Manual? Oh, okay. So it tells us how to. Okay, it's got there the, all the different buttons are. So, volume up and volume down. It looks like you turn the head to change the volume. Uh, push down to play and pause music or end the call. There is a USB port and the on our switch. Right, let's have a look at the actual. So it looks like that's all there is really in the packaging. There's nothing, nothing more. So how do we get in? Okay. So how do we? Where's the? Where's the metallic? Well, that's, that's rubberized, that's interesting. Kind of spring loaded head for the volume control. So I'm wondering, clearly on the image there, there's a silver base. Oh, it is there. My mistake. I was busy pushing it out and, and a USB cable. There we go, look. That's what I was missing. So, I just, it just sits in, so it's not like it clips or anything. Well, you can see that look there. So it just sits on the desk. Now I don't know if there's going to be any. Okay, so I've had a quick look at the instructions. We're going to try and pair the little fella now. So I'm going to go into my Bluetooth settings. I'm going to hold down his head for six seconds. We get one beep. I'm not sure what that one is, but I'm going to keep holding. I think that's in pairing mode. I'm going to scan for devices. I, th I assume this is him. Oh. There, that's, that looks like it's paired. Right, let's try a podcast first. Circles, okay, create your own groups. But now that when you look at what's the next evolution of social networking, you see now that, sure, people are more, you know, are more comfortable with dealing with Facebook, but now you deal with, like, subscriptions. And then when you post, you can post to either the public, your friends that are your real friends and not subscribers, and then possibly lists of these smart lists that you've created. Yeah. It becomes pretty complicated to... You have so many options now to deal with. There's a point where you just have to, like, where these people have to say, you know, we're only going to give you maybe X, Y, and Z, not A, B, C, D, you know. Yeah. I just feel bad for people who are just, like, kids who are maybe just coming to Facebook and trying to wrap their head around <laughs> all these features. So, so, so much of it is, like, organically, like, like features and little way. extra things on Facebook and little, you know, avenues and the public pages keep... and fan pages and Facebook groups and all that I'm stuff. It makes down. sense at the time, these little tiny uh, incremental changes, but just, like, looking at the whole thing as a whole right now, it looks like a mess. Well, you know, this was the, what they call the season of launches. Yeah. And they've launched a whole bunch of stuff. Like, you know, they're pretty much a lot of people would agree that their chats... So, you can't hold it and the volume will keep going. You have to keep twitching it, which is a little bit annoying, but not a game changer. I think most people will use the volume in their phone to control it. Let's try music. Talking, cause talking just turns into screaming. Oh. Now it's some yelling over her. One, two, three, four. Hey. 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 Just to compare.
pair that fit. It sounds pretty good to me. I mean, obviously you're not going to get a lot of bass and anything like that. But that's that's the equivalent from the phone. And the Galaxy S2 has a pretty decent speaker, one of the better. The system is now broken and crappy. Mm -hmm. They added a Google Circles type feature, smartless which. You know, the speaker on this is one of the better ones, really. We actually, I like that. I like that evolution. And then now you're throwing on this subscription thing back to, you know, back to back. And everyone's going to be like, what just happened to my Facebook? Right. What and, is then, that? and then we just got like a thing about how they're going to change what messages we get. We're going to get like more important messages or something. And you have to go in and make a bunch of changes in your profile to fix that. Facebook loves to put us to work. They always want us to mm -hmm. work on our stuff. And it's, it's very annoying. And I, probably, there's probably be some killer feature you do want, like that privacy, like being able to granularly like select how you want your, your update statuses to be, whether they're important or not yeah. important or public or private. Or so I think you can see that, the, or hear that, should I say, the volume difference is quite significant. We can move his arms around. I don't know why you might want to do that, but kind of rubbery, rubbery eyes again. I don't know if that's any significance. Uh, ooh. Ah, so I just pressed down. I think he's trying to do the voice recognition. So in theory, he presses that down, call mum, and it calls your mum, or my mum, or whoever you have. Let's just test. <laughs> so, I mean, that might just be how Samsung have their interaction set up, but it looks like maybe whenever you press the head, I mean, it has pause. <laughs> it pauses music temporarily. Um, so it looks like that's for the voice. And it does say it supports. Let's just see if we can see where the microphone is. Speaking of oh, mic, number four. So I, don't know, I can't see where that's actually pointing to. Somewhere in his head, maybe the eyes. Maybe the eyes are the microphones. Number four is microphones, which is there, like pointing into his head. Well, maybe into the front of his head. Hard to tell. So it's 1995 on mobilefund.co.uk. Um, if you listen to podcasts and music, and especially you know, if you sort of when you're getting ready for for working more like me perhaps um, or you know it's, you're not going to have parties using this little fella as the, as the main speaker but that's a decent volume you get from him um, especially if you have a phone that doesn't have very good speakers like I said the, the Galaxy S2 does have a good speaker but you could clearly tell the sound difference so for only £20 um, I would suggest that's a pretty good buy now it's, it says there's four and a half hours battery life of use which seems pretty good obviously I've not been able to verify that because I've only just started having a play but I would suggest that's quite a quite a good little buy. Um, some people might not like the sort of novelty design of the Android. Other people will love it, and I would suggest. S scary as it is, Christmas isn't a long way away, and this is the kind of thing you might buy somebody for almost a bit of a giggle. But it's it's actually going to be very useful to some people. Um, so there it is, the Android Bluetooth Soundbox with hands-free. 1995 from mobilefund.co.uk and I would suggest it's a, probably a pretty good buy. My name's Andy, Hemadrace.net.